YouTube. My name is Gauntlet, and today I will explain how to use atomic bombers in Call of War. I'm currently in a 1.0 world map. It's pretty late in the game, so I decided to test out atomic bombers so you guys can see how they work. So, to research atomic bombers in 1.0, you need nuclear power, atomic bomb, and nuclear bomber. And it's very similar at 1.5. It's almost exactly the same. But the real key is how to use them. So, your atomic bomber deals a lot of damage. However, it only has 30 hit points. It has good range, but it's relatively slow and can be shot down. So, you're gonna want to have air superiority or hit your enemy while they're asleep. I gotta reveal all on my enemy so I can see they have a very weak air force so I don't have to worry about that and also they've been AFK pretty much for the last couple days so it's a good test run however one mistake people do is that they have their atomic bomber squadron hit a stack that has a lot of AA in it AA will slaughter atomic bombers even if you put them in stacks of two three four five AA can shoot a lot of them down and sometimes all of them down so you don't want to waste your atomic bombs on stacks with AA it's better to do what I'm going to show you first thing you look at the enemy stack this stack here has only one level one AA so I could direct attack this one I could have my atomic bombs drop directly onto this stack and most likely they will survive and deal damage same with this one no AA no AA, yeah. However, if I direct attacked this fleet, two cruisers, 9.5, battleship six, destroyer, my atomic bombers might not survive directly attacking this fleet. And so when you're bombing an enemy stack that has too much AA in it for you to deal with directly, you can bomb target or a province that's near the stack that has a lot of AA because what will happen is that the bomb is dropped on this city for example boom these bombers are gonna attack this city and because the city has no units in it this stack is outside the city these battleships are off the coast it's gonna hit the city and the blast radius of the nuclear explosion is going to encompass these stacks and deal lots of damage. So you don't need to directly hit the enemy stack to deal damage to them. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread these out a little bit. And the cool thing about atomic bombers is that their damage ignores fortifications. So you don't have to worry about them being a level five fort. And I think I'll direct attack this one and I'll direct attack this one. And I won't direct attack this fleet because the fleet might shoot down my atomic bomber. So instead, I'll bomb the city that it's next to and the blast radius should be able to destroy most of those ships. Let's say for example, I wanted to kill the stack here, but it had too much AA. So because there's no target nearby that I can hit that can allow the bomb to have a blast radius that will encompass this, I won't be able to hit this one with atomic bombs. If it had, let's say, 8 level 5 AA, I would not direct attack it. Instead, I would keep this stack spotted, this stack with lots of AA spotted, with other planes, do patrol resets, make sure I know where it is, and once it moves off of the city, then I'll nuke the city while the enemy units are off the city because then my bombers won't be hit by the enemy AA and the bomb will hit the city and the blast radius will destroy the army and my bomber will not be shot down. So the key to these atomic bombers is to be smart about how to use them against enemy stacks and how to use them so that you can deal damage without being shot down. Because that's the downside to atomic bombers, because they can be shot down. Whereas a nuclear rocket 
or rockets in general, cannot be shot down. So that gives them a great advantage. They can just bypass the enemy AA. The downside to rockets, of course, is that they're very slow to move around. So I can build it like back here, but it'll take me days to move it up to the front line. Whereas atomic bombers, they're basically strategic bombers. I can move them like aircraft and they can get from one side of the country to another extremely quickly. So I generally like atomic bombers, but nuclear rockets are definitely a better choice. But if you know how to use atomic bombers, atomic bombers can be just as useful. Another thing to keep in note is that the atomic blast also affects aircraft. So because I had these two atomic bombers take off at the same time from Kabaros, one was heading here, the other one bombed here. The one that was heading to this target was over the blast radius of the one dropped here and that caused that atomic bomber to get destroyed. So <laughs> be careful of friendly fire when you use atomic bombs. It can easily happen. Here comes the strike on Chengdu. And the province is down to 9% morale. It's heavily damaged and a lot of dead people. And I'll send in this stack of planes to spot just how much damage I did. As you can see from this blast radius, it encompassed this fleet and I was able to destroy at least one battleship. Not sure how many units I killed, but it dealt damage. And we can see the remnants of what's left in Chengdu. Interestingly, the infantry are still left here, while everything else was destroyed. Thanks to those nuclear strikes, I dealt About 82,000 casualties, and yeah. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you on the battlefield.